Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and today we have a sickening split thanks to Joshy Rotten. And that is with Nyctophagia and basic torture procedure. The Nyctophagia side of things, betrayed by the universe, and basic torture procedure, screams of dissolution. Buzzsaw gore grind from basic torture procedure and some pretty fucking sick cosmic gore from nyctophagia betrayed by the universe this side of the split is what we're playing right now we have dylan phagia on guitars and vocals isaac on drums and Vitaly on bass and stoned Predator vocals. Hell yeah. <laughs> and on the basic torture procedure side of things, which I will throw on, we have Kyle on vomits, Dr. Foggle or Fogel on guitars and bass, and Travis on drums. Nine tracks on the basic torture procedure side of things, and 12 on the nyctophagia side of things. Really digging this drum sound. It's like just fucking sick. Really nasty stuff. Sounds like regurgitate if they gave a shit about, like, space. I just like that title, though, Betrayed by the Universe. It's fucking badass. The moons have, like, bases and stuff. Sick. But it's definitely a killer release, and you gotta love, you know, just noisy gore grind. I know I do, but the Nick the Phage side of things with Betrayed by the Universe, 12 tracks of sickening gore grind with stuff like tax evasion, super scheme, handcuffed to a urinal, funeral procession hit by a train, Jesus slaves. Shadow of the Cockroach and the title track Betrayed by the Universe Sickening Gore Grind Grindfather Productions put out the split and for passion not fashion but we're going to throw on the basic torture procedure side of things and here's one of those splits that I was talking about where you can you know switch the cover to what side you're listening to like we were just blasting portrayed by the universe by nyctophagia but now we're gonna throw on basic torture procedure and boom screams of dissolution Artwork and ready to go. And this is on a gray or silver tape. I'm kind of colorblind when it comes to that stuff. Both bands' logos, super DIY looking, and that's the way Grindfather is. And I've always appreciated them as a label. I really feel like every Grindfather release I have is fucking awesome. And I'm being dead serious. DIY Grindcore label and distro for passion, not fashion. GF516. And yeah, get ready for some Buzzsaw Gore Grind by Basic Torture Procedure. BTC. And... Screams of Dissolution, 
you know, you get some gnarly gore noise, and it's just awesome. And if you're like, why do you keep switching from gore grind to gore noise? It's because who cares? Like, for, I'm, I don't, I'm sorry. Like, to me, it's kind of the same thing, although I know there is a difference. You know what I mean? Internal flea infestation. Now, a little less noisy than the nyctophagia side of things. And a little bit more just straight up gory as well. And, you know, you're not really getting any super lo-fi gore noise or anything super, you know, overly extreme here. But at the same time, you're getting some of the gnarliest music in the underground that a lot of people happen to skip over because, although, Gore Grind is getting a lot more popular again. Like, I kind of feel like it's a lot more serious now than it was in like the late 90s early 2000s where you had a lot more like porno grind and you know projects like prosthetic c-u-n-t and stuff like that where it was like you know it, it is what it is like it was fun to listen to but at the same time like some of it was just a little too much like, a couple friends of mine were involved with, like, Triple X Maniac and stuff. And that's where it's kind of funny, because it's, like, I'm pretty sure they headlined Maryland Death Fest. Like, a straight-up, like, gore grind band, you know, that's how underground MDF used to be, you know? It wasn't, I think it used to be, like, you know, one bigger, like, headlining act. And everything else was, like, super underground. Like, you'd have, like, Putrid Pile and shit like that, which you'd still have, you know. I'm not sure if there's a band that's played every year, but I'm sure there is. But, like, a band like Basic Torture Procedure, I honestly don't want to give Rona credit for anything positive. But if it did do anything positive, it really created a lot of new really good bands but with good bands comes a lot of new kind of shitty bands also so sometimes you gotta pick your poison like you might not know about a certain like band that might sound similar to another band that you like but one band's just a little bit, you know, I guess more worth 
your time. Because that's all life really is, is time. And I don't like wasting people's time. And a split like this, you know, you're kind of getting two really, really good slabs of gore together on one cassette tape. I love this type of stuff. This would be a great 12 inch. Hey, somebody probably already did a or 10 inch or whatever because yeah, this really deserves it. I really dig the basic torture procedure stuff. Like I said, a little bit more straightforward gore grind uh, where nyctophagia is a little, you know, more noisy in the mix, but still you know, pretty crispy production-wise. Just a really enjoyable slab of gore. So, Betrayed by the Universe by Nyctophagia and Screams of Dissolution by Basic Torture Procedure. Released on Grindfather Productions. Get set. stuff and thank you again Joshy Rotten Josh I have some stuff to, I'm sending you so I will get that done shortly but um as always thanks for watching you fucking rule especially if you made it this long and yeah hail <clears throat>